Notice anything unusual about this army composition? Get ready for the 99 War. Welcome Clashers to another Clan War filled episode of Clash of Clans Attacks where my Town Hall 8 clan was involved in what is now an infamous war that we can only refer to as the 99 War and we're going to take a look at some of these replays starting off with a replay from Davis of Full Attack bringing in the standard Go Wipe army. He's got two Rage, one Heal spell, but you'll notice right away he's dropped both of his Golems together right on top of each other on the left side of this base and almost all of his Wizards as well in a tight group moving in right behind the Golems. Now the Wall Breakers have cleared some of those walls which are lower level, Clan Castle troops coming out and so the Wizards should make pretty quick work of the Clan Castle troops. There is the Heal spell, could help keep those Wizards up and now the P.E.K.K.A. moving in kind of late so a lot of surrounding structures have already been cleared and they're so far away that it's difficult to tell where they're going to path and indeed they split off into three separate directions and that could become an issue later on in this attack. And unfortunately, we are seeing a role reversal of sorts. Instead of going to the inside where the P.E.K.K.A. are normally used, the Wizards are on the inside, the P.E.K.K.A. are on the outside, and here is why you don't want that to happen, as that big bomb wipes out a whole pack of Wizards. Those P.E.K.K.A. would have shaken it off, and unfortunately, a lot of the attacking force has gone down. And now Davis is going to be in a race against the clock, all of his units have been deployed, spells used, King's special ability activated, so there's nothing he can do but sit back and wait and see if it's going to happen. A minute and 40 left, a lot of structures, but it seems like a lot of time. Unfortunately, you can see there's really only just a couple of wizards and maybe one or two archers that are helping out here, and that is unfortunate because you've got a lot of structures to get through. And now we're down to a minute 20 or so. The archer has finally gotten something down and moves on. You see the peck at the top of the screen are really all we have left to get through these structures and yes the P.E.K.K.A. as an offensive unit is just about as strong as it is dumb and you see them wandering off to the right away from the mortar and that's going to be dangerous as they work their way further and further from the mortar down towards the bottom of the base you'll see that it looks like maybe two archers remain working their way towards the other structures slowly but surely. As we fast forward, we'll see the P.E.K.K.A. moving around, the Golem, and there we go, taking the cannon out. Big Bomb takes out one of the two remaining archers, and then watch this one last archer somehow gets within range of that mortar. Looks like she is going to take it down by herself. Not quite. One more arrow would have definitely downed that mortar, but instead it stands, and now as time runs out, the P.E.K.K.A. are off to the rarely effective corner placed builder's hut which in this case actually makes all the difference in the world they turn back for that mortar but it is too late time runs out and davis is stuck with a brutal 99 percent win all right, but let's move on and try to forget about that 99 percenter. Let's go check out Prince's replay, and it's another Go Wipe attack. Two Golems, two P.E.K.K.A., and you'll notice a very widespread base, which can be vulnerable to a Go Wipe attack. But Prince has brought just one Rage spell and two heals, and Prince will be 50 percent of the reason that two heals spell Go Wipe attacks are now banned in my clan forever. Now Prince is very carefully luring out the clan castle which is placed off towards the side here and he's taking his time making sure he gets the balloon and most of the clan castle troops out of the way. The rest of the attack is going to come from the bottom right. Good deployment of the golems because they are going after separate defenses. Although I might have placed the left golem to go after those archer towers instead. That would have protected more wizards given them a wider area to clear surrounding structures. You could see they're vulnerable to the king there. Several wizards have gone down. The rage spell accelerating those units in towards the center. Wall breakers opening a bunch of enclosures. So the town hall not going to be a question. It is going to get wiped out. There is a heal spell that is almost completely useless, trying to heal a couple of P.E.K.K.A. and the King. They did not really need it. No defenses in that area, and they have moved out of that enclosure. They're going to be joined by the last P.E.K.K.A., and at the top right of your screen, the Golems are together, but they are accompanied by a couple of Wizards. So we are working our way through this base, slowly but surely, but the only spell that remains is another heal spell. We've got one Wizard left yet to be deployed, and an awful lot of structures spread out through a wide area. Area. There goes a wizard at the bottom of the screen to a big bomb, and you can see that gold mine way out 
out by itself. That could become an issue later on in this attack. That wizard couldn't quite get through that last gold mine. Now the units working their way towards the top of this village. You could see another wizard at the top wiped out by the archer tower. And so again, it just becomes a matter of a few very large units. No supporting structure clearing units like wizards and archers remain. There goes the barbarian king's iron fist. But all of those barbarians will suffer the Galadon curse and fall to a big bomb almost immediately after the special ability is triggered. So 50 seconds remain, 86% damage, one P.E.K.K.A. at the bottom of your screen trying to get through that wall to get to the wizard tower and the cannon. Everybody else at the top going to take out the archer tower. Only three defensive structures remain. Only about a half a dozen total structures remain. 94% damage, 33 seconds. The king and the P.E.K.K.A. together, so much overkill. They can do so much damage per second as a group. But if they had just split up, things would have worked out better. Instead, we're running short on time. It seems like maybe there's enough time. But remember the gold mine at the bottom of your screen. 15 seconds, the units through the wall take out the cannon, and they are just too slow, too far away. They're trying to get down there desperately, but there is absolutely no chance that they're going to get to that gold mine in time. Time runs out, and prints another victim of the 99% attack. And next up, we have a replay from Illy Pilly. He is the other 50% of the reason that two heal spells are now banned in go wipe attacks in the clan full attack. You can see two heals, one rage, three golems, a P.E.K.K.A., a bunch of wall breakers and wizards. So he's got a plenty of wall breakers. In fact, if you take into consideration this base layout, you probably could have gotten away with about half as many wall breakers. Now, Illy Pilly, uh, luring out the clan castle troops off to the far left. Again, you've got that one big balloon and a bunch of wizards and archers being very careful trying to get them out of the way. Works out pretty well. Costs him a few wizards, but he does manage to get the balloon down eventually. There it goes taking the wizard with it, and now he starts the rest of his attack. Again, you'll see the builder's huts are out on the corners, and it's always a good idea to make a mental note of that as you start the attack and maybe save a couple of archers. In fact, bring a couple of extra archers just to deploy out there. You'll see the wizard does go for the top one. In fact, it distracts a few wizards before they do turn around. I like this spread of his golems, widespread, distracting a bunch of defenses. You can see that the wizards are surviving pretty well. Good rage spell right on the corner, and that should accelerate the wall breakers. But here they come, a massive army of wall breakers, way more than are needed to get through all of these walls. You see they just end up busting open additional wall openings. That is a huge gaping hole into that town hall enclosure. And yes, there's the first of two heal spells. Again, uh, not doing much healing because there wasn't a lot to heal. In fact, the units are really out of the radius of that heal spell before they take any damage from the mortars, the Tesla, the big bombs on the inside. There's a second heal spell. Gosh, our second rage spell would be ideal right there. Accelerating the peck of the king through those structures, getting them out of that core and off to the remaining structures because you can see two stars easy with this base. But again, time counting down. We're getting close to a minute remaining and you've got those outside builder's huts. One, two, three, way off on the corners. There goes the Barbarian King's Iron Fist. And once again, Illy Pilly is faced with the same problem, a lack of cleanup troops, mostly just big units left. He does have a couple of wizards and barbarians remaining from the Iron Fist, but time is counting down 50 seconds, and although there's not a lot of remaining structures, there is a widespread three critically placed builder's huts that are definitely going to be coming into play. The bottom one is about to fall to that entire group, and yes, at the top of your screen, there are three golems all still in one piece, so you can see why I always advise to just bring two golems to a Town Hall 8 go wipe. The units working their way up, Massive number of units still standing, but look at the time, 22 seconds, three structures off here to the left, and if you recall correctly, that builder's hut on the far right side of this village is still standing and it's quietly whispering, 99, 99. And as time counts down, Illy Pilly just wishing he had held on to just one unit to drop over there, 99% is going to be the result, the third 99% attack from this war. So, of course, who better to break the 99% Go Wipe curse than the self-proclaimed Go Wipe expert, the author of Galadon's Go Wipe guide, armed with two big golems, three P.E.K.K.A., a bunch of wizards, archers, two rage spells, a lightning spell, 
and absolutely no wall breakers. That's right, I've been raiding so often with a similar army composition on my main character Galadon in that push towards 5,000 that I completely forgot to bring any wall breakers whatsoever. So we've got a Galafiel inbound as the units work their way in. Lightning spell on most of the clan castle troops. There come way too many P.E.K.K.A. I always recommend three, not four and I make the same mistake that I pointed out from an earlier replay, and that is too many P.E.K.K.A. in one spot. Even just two P.E.K.K.A. together would almost be too much for this setup, but now we've got four together along with the Barbarian King, and that is a total waste as they work their way around the merry-go-round of this base layout, so I've resigned myself that if I have any chance of getting to that core, we've got to wipe out every structure around the outside first. And so I drop the second rage spell just ahead of the group, hoping that they'll get through some of these bigger structures. I have just under two minutes remaining, so I'm still hoping that there is a shot at three stars here. We have so many hit points left in these units. They should survive the entire attack. It's just a matter again of whether or not they will have the time to do it. I am left without supporting units either. All of my wizards are down. The golem off to the left, completely useless. So it's really just this one group of units, no spells left. I have nine archers and it might have been wise to do something earlier with those archers, like drop them where the golem is, maybe send them towards the bottom of the screen to try to take that Tesla out. You'll notice that the bottom archer tower is distracted by the golemites. I drop in an archer on the left to try to help out with another archer tower, but it does not look like that's gonna work very well either. The group at the top of the screen has split up a little bit so things are looking better we're going after multiple structures at the same time one pekka trying to get through the wall and she will not quite get it down but she does weaken it significantly so that should help on the entry of the rest of the units as they take out the wizard tower the elixir storage there i drop the rest of the archers not a great spot for them either of course they trigger a big bomb and now with less than 45 seconds left the units are into the core finally they've made it all the way around the pekka go round they're in into the center and two of the archers actually help out by taking out that left archer tower but there are three remaining archer towers and they're doing an awful lot of damage to my last pekka and the king stuck on the clan castle for a while they finally get it down the king just about to fall four structures left in this village to get to 100 percent there goes the Barbarian King, his last strike, and now he is down. Two structures left. The air defense finally falls, and the P.E.K.K.A. turns to go after the Tesla, but like a carrot on a stick, it is just out of reach for the P.E.K.K.A. Time is going to run out, and 99% is going to be the magic number in this clan war. So the war comes to a close and congratulations are in order for Electro UNAND as they win 125 to 120. So the five star margin making the four 99% attacks a little less painful. But again, it was a tough war and we've definitely learned from this war. I think we all have. And I will certainly try not to make those same mistakes in the future. Be sure to check out the other episodes, like, comment, subscribe, favorite. And I will see you guys again tomorrow with more Slightly Fuller by 1%. Attacks. Galidon, you've got 99 problems, but a wall breaker ain't one. <laughs>